Hey, flying saucer! Hey, hey, flying saucer! Okay, so we're back in Toon Boom Studio now. I've opened up a new project. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and add another uh, drawing element to the project. So this is basically what it looks like when it opens up. So there's already a drawing element there, but we'll go ahead and add another one. Two ways you do that. One is is add this little, or hit click this little icon. It looks like you know a triangle and a, a circle and a square, and that's supposed to be indicate drawing. Um, so you can do that. The other way that you can do this is just add this plus, or click on the plus side, and it pops up as by default as drawing, but you can see there's lots of other kinds of of elements that you can add. It's just the drawing one is the most common one. That's why they, have, they go ahead and give you that nice icon there. So we'll go ahead and name this. We'll say call this dog bowl. And so basically what you've done again is, is add uh, a new element and, and as we add keyframes we're going to add them right here. And so what we're going to do is for the first keyframe we're going to hit the uh, right click on it and hit the um, import and vectorize option and we're going to do that from the file. So what this does is takes me over the desk desktop and um, this is the image that we edited in within Photoshop. Go ahead and open that up. It's going to pop up to the screen. You can see over here that it's given, I think it automatically defaults to black and white. We don't want it with black and white. We want color or with texture and you don't have to worry about any of these other things. Um, I saved the original uh, dog bowl as a, a Photoshop file, but it can accept JPEGs and you know just about any other uh, image uh, file that you, uh, image file format that you have. So I'm going to go ahead and hit, hit OK. It just takes just a minute. It's actually already imported, but what you got to do is, is click on it for it to show up. So there that image is, and I just realized that I forgot to, to not save the background. <laughs> So I'm going to go back and get rid of that back. Okay, so I went back and got the PSD file, but I left the, the, the background behind. So um, this is what the image is going to look like when you import it. And remember when I talked about having a halo? This is what I'm talking about right here. And um, no matter how clean it's going to be within Photoshop, it still leaves the this kind of rough edge on it. So again, it's not even worth your time to try to get that perfect. And again, the other thing that's going to happen is if you get it right up to the edge of the bowl uh, when you import it, you still have to take that other edge off. So you're actually going to be removing part of the, the photo that you want to keep if you uh, go ahead and work too hard to get that uh, you know, edge straight. So again, just, just do it as a rough cut. cut. Again, it took, take, took me about two minutes to to go ahead and do that. One thing I do want to point out, and a mistake that I was making early on is, you know, I, I showed you how to import um, the image by right-clicking on the cell and do import and vectorize. And you do want to import them as vector images. They, they are much, they're much cleaner. The colors are much better. They're actually um, easier to scale. But if you can go up here, you might be tempted to do this and import a file. And so you could actually import a bitmap or a JPEG or, or something like that. The problem is, uh, and some of the images that you import, they're not going to be vectorized. And again, that in the long run, that's going to hurt you. So always go down here on the on the keyframe and do that import and vectorize. Okay, so we got the image in here. It's it's vectorized and ready to go. Um, what we want to do is switch over to what they call the drawing view. And this is just a different view within Toon Boom. The purpose of this is to kind of um, you know, clean up your images or draw your images if you're going to go that route. Um, the other view that we were just in, kind of the default view, is the camera view. That's where you're actually going to do your animation. Um, so what we're going to do now is go ahead and just zoom in on this. Kind of blow it up. And again, you can really see that halo here. So this just does not look good. So what we're going to do is go up to the um, upper left hand uh, side here. And this is your, your toolbar for uh, the drawing uh, tools that you have. And um, the thing that we're going to do is cycle through, and I go, I cycle through by hitting 1, and we're going to go to this thing called the Contour Editor, and you can tell it's a little white arrow, and there's all different other pieces that you can, or all, all other different tools that you can use. What we're going to do is go for the white one. Again, that's the Contour Editor. And what you're going to do is click close to the edge of the uh, image, and that's what happens. All these little points pop up. And these are points that you can use to actually um, edit the photo. 
Now this is kind of a time-consuming process. I, there's not really an easy way around this. The good news is once you get good at it, uh, it actually goes pretty quick. So essentially what we're going to do is start moving these points up. And if I wanted to, if I had an object that was pretty pretty simple, what you can do is just right click on this line and go down here. I don't know if I can move that up. I guess I can't. Um, go down here and hit smooth. It, it actually should take a lot of the points out. The problem with that um, is that I, I end up putting so many points back in that it doesn't always help me out in the long run. So I usually just keep all the points in and um, um, just you know work with it like that. So if you're not used to using a contour editor it's a pretty interesting tool because what it'll allow you to do is you can see where my line is not very straight right here. Where you have this big bump between these two points even though this one is up. What you do is you get these little control handles and what you can do is straighten that image out a little bit. See now this one is up a little bit. And what you're going to try to do again is get it as essentially as straight as you, you possibly can. The good news um, about Toon Boom Studio, and the thing that I think is really cool, um, is that no matter how rough my photos looked when I was done editing them, once you animate them and once you get, um, you know, the, the image is actually rendered because they're actually in motion, any little defects that you have actually are pretty well hidden. So you can get, kind of do a kind of a rough job of editing, and this thing still looks pretty good. Okay, like I said, I got rid of all these um, extra points. Now what I'm going to do is actually start adding some back in. And the way you do that is hit the Alt key, and you can see that little plus sign that pops up on the cursor, and then you just click, and that adds a point. And so what I'll usually do is, you know, in a situation like this where I've removed all the extra points, I go ahead and start putting some in where I think I'm going to need them and uh, just kind of go from there. So again, not the most exciting work, but it's actually, for me, I don't know, I have kind of a stressful job. I suppose it's a little bit rela relaxing to do this. Um, so. Again, that's that's the basic process. What you're going to do is go back and use these control handles to kind of straighten the, the image up a little bit. That looks a little curvy for some reason. I don't know what happened there. Um, the other thing that, that's neat about using this, if you saw what I did there, you know, the image doesn't actually disappear underneath there. So if you do make a mistake, you can always pull it back and, and straighten it out like that. Okay, so this is not going to be terribly exciting to watch. So what I'm going to do is rather than do this whole thing at normal speed, we'll go ahead and speed it up again. But what I do want to show you is, you know, what what you need to do with the dog food where it's not such a straight edge. Um, and this was probably not the most brilliant thing to do, but I took, uh, you know, the, the picture of the dog food against what was a you know a pretty dark background itself with the oak cabinet. Um, and so it's a little bit hard to see. The good news there is if you do kind of make a mistake. Um, nobody's going to notice. And if you look at the um, annoying uh, hairball video, you can see actually the dog food looks pretty good and it, you know we really have it blown up to a high degree. So again, the, the technique is, is the same. And again, I, I hit the uh, Alt key to add a point. But it's the same um, technique that we used on, on the kind of the straight edge you know, for the dog ball. And so what you do is, again, um, blow it up so that it's, it's easy to see. And then start moving points around. Kind of a trick that I learned, too, is before you start moving this point over here, make sure that you have added these points to where you think they're going to need to be. It ends up saving you some moving around in the long run. Okay, so again, that's the basic idea. What, what again we're doing is getting rid of this extra, this halo that appears when you do uh, the Photoshop editing. So what I'm going to do, again, finish editing this this out. It's the same basic technique um, as what we just talked about. You know, throughout the whole process, you'll just see it at, at fast speed.
Okay, so that's the final product. Um, again, it's probably not perfect. If you know, I was actually going to use this in an animation, I might have taken a little bit longer to kind of clean it up, but you get the basic idea. Again, you add the points uh, by hitting the Alt key, and then that little plus sign pops up. So that's that's the biggest trick. That one took me a while to figure out how to actually do that. But um, again, what, what you're trying to do is to get this as, as clean as possible. What you'll find is when you flip over to the other the other view is you'll sometimes be able to see that things are not so straight as you thought they were and you can kind of clean that up a little bit more. But that's the basic idea of how to clean up something uh, for use in, in um, Toon Boom Studio Photo Animation. Again, the good news is it kind of looks a little rough right now, but the um, if you start adding a background and you start adding some motion, a lot of things going on, um, it actually looks pretty good. And I think it's partly to do with the way that that Toon Boom animates, and partly to do that, uh, we know when you know where you, when you're sitting here staring at it, kind of analyzing it, you're going to see every little imperfection when it's part of the the overall picture. And there's some animation going on, things like that. People are not going to analyze what is that piece of dog food, you know, look out of place, or does it have the right edge on it. So that's about it for this tutorial. I appreciate you you, you staying tuned and watching this. Uh, the next tutorial we're gonna what we're gonna do is to uh, do the same sort of technique. However, we're gonna work with things that have kind of a fuzzy edge. You know, in, in this case, we're gonna we're gonna cut out a couple pictures of Henry and kind of put that fur back in. You use the same basic technique to kind of kind of do that cutout on that first stage with the Photoshop elements, but then you go back and add that hair back in and. And it took me a little while to figure this out, and I, I'm excited to share it with you. Uh, if you have questions about the video, please leave them in the comments section. If you have ideas about other video topics that you'd like me to cover, please put those in there. And I appreciate you going over and check out, uh, you know, the Henry and Mama series. I'm pretty proud of those, and, and uh, you know, we're getting some good feedback on them. So go ahead and check those out and let me know what you think of those as well. Have a great day.